Jamie from Smedley Wood Design here and in this video we are going to make some vacuum pots. Alright, so in order to make these vacuum pots I decided to create a prototype of one on the 3D printer. Um, I found uh, this Saw a design similar to this on another video, um, but I like like this design. It works good. It uses a fast clip or a fast fast disconnect um, fitting, and I got some some quarter inch um, cord gasket that I'm going to use, and then I've got a vacuum pump that came from a um, friend, and uh, it seems to work pretty good. We'll see how it works with uh, four or five, maybe six pods. We'll see if it can carry that much suction between that amount of space. And then I'm going to use, actually cut these out, out of HDPE. Um, I've got some scrap here that I think I can uh, salvage. Just gotta do a little surfacing on each side and then cut out the, uh, cut out the shape and uh, do all the pocketing that needs to be done. Um, this may be good enough to use in production or in my application, so I'd have to print out five more of these. Um, but I'm going to try the HDPE and see how that works. Um, that'll be my first actual cutout on this job, other than cutting the spoil board. So uh, let's get started. So my first step is to surface both sides. I want to make it the same thickness as the 3D printed ones, so I can mix them together. Uh, just to see how it works out. The corner uh, blocks right there and the clamps come from Pond CNC. I'll put a link in the description below on where to find those. There's the first vacuum pod. I got tabs in here that I used. I just need to uh, Cut those off, clean it up, and then I need to drill the hole for the uh, um, quick connect uh, air hose. So I was pretty close to the end of cutting out this one. It was on the last pass when all of a sudden something hung up and it started jumping. And uh, well, I didn't stop it fast enough and it ruined that one as well. So uh, that piece of HDPE is ruined. Bummer. But. I have two cut out that work awesome. And then I also have two more right here that uh, I had to fill in with some Bondo. I hope the Bondo sticks. Um, so those work out good. We'll uh, get those cleaned up and make sure they work. So I've got the five other um, 3D printed uh, pods. I've got the other two um, HDPE pods. Because I was using this from a previous project, um, I had some holes in here that I had to um, fill in. I filled it in with Bondo. I'm hoping that works good enough. I'll just need to clean it up, sand it up a little bit, and then clean up the um, little shavings on the top surface. And then I can drill out the holes for the quick connect um, fitting. Got to pull out the support material in these, tap all the holes, and then put in the fitting. And uh, we should be able to test it out on six pods on one vacuum pump. So I'm just gonna use the sandpaper to just kind of clean up the surface, make sure it's all nice and, and flush.
All right, I got the 3D prints ready to be threaded with the tap. And I've got these ones all cleaned up. I just need to drill a hole. So what I'm gonna do, since marker and pencil do not show up on HDPE, I'm gonna use a, a marky, a sharpie, and then mark it. So, right, now that I got it marked, I'm going to use a, something sharp and a straight edge. I'm going to go from corner to corner to get my center mark. I got my setter mark and now I can use the drill press to drill it out. All right, so now I need to drill a quarter inch hole through there so it ends up right at that pocket there. So that's where my airflow will come from. So the next step after cleaning out all the supports and drilling out the holes in the HDPE, I gotta tap it with a quarter 18 NPT uh, tap. Um, I found these at Harbor Freight. Not too bad in price. Um, that's the size of the fitting that I have for the Quick Air Quick Connects. The Air Quick Connects came with some some sort of Teflon tape on it or paint of some sort, um, but I'm just adding more to it just to make sure I got a nice, good um, air seal um, so that no air leaks. All right, the next step is to cut all the uh, foam um, gasket material to length. Uh, just a quick measurement and marking on the board makes a quick work of this. And then just adding all the gasket to the um, pods. All right, we got all seven vacuum pods ready, and the, including the, I got three more over there at the CNC that I did brief for to make sure it worked. And uh, let's go over there um, and let's get it uh, plugged in and see how it works with, uh, I wanna use six when I put something down on the CNC to cut um, at a large size. So we'll see how that works with six pods, see how much suction we get. When I was designing these vacuum pods, I didn't take into consideration all of this clutter in with the tubes. Um, and I can't, with how, how big these are, I can't bring these in anymore if I want to do narrower material. Um, so I went back to um, Fusion 360 and I mirrored all, the, all of these connection points. So now I have an in and an out. So when I put these in, like that, I'll have single lines of tubes running through and I'll get rid of all these fittings. Um, all right, so let me uh, change that all up right now. All right, I've got the splitter on. I've got the pods all ready to go. I've got the line ran to the pump. I'm ready to turn it on. Make sure everything's solid. Got a piece of material here. So I'm gonna 
set it on here. Make sure I'm covering. Hit the pump. I don't hear any leaks. Oh, that is solid. That is not going anywhere. Awesome. All right. All right, I'm very pleased with how these uh, vacuum pods worked out. The 3D printed ones work great. The HDP ones work as well, but uh, these ones I just have to put on the printer and hit print and walk away. Um, seven, eight hours later, they're done. I think I'll stick with these and not worry about machining any more HDPE. And this concludes my uh, video for today. I hope to see you in my next video. I'm very excited for that one. Uh, because I'm going to put something on this machine that I have not seen a home hobbyist or a hobby CNC put on before. So uh, stay tuned for that video. We'll see you then.